Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I'm Koichi GZ, and in this video we are going to go against the new Mega Monster. So this is going to be King Hirora. So this Mega Monster is going to be level 75, so not as strong as uh, Grizzard, but still can be a bit of a challenge if you are actually not prepared. But if you are prepared, you can actually get through this uh, pretty much with ease, I believe. So uh, I'm going to be using uh, Jibaria for this particular battle. So um, King Hidura is going to be weak to uh, Jibaria, Dorma, Bagi, and Mera. So Jibaria is going to be the weakest he's against, uh, weakest to. So um, this is a team that, of course, you've seen before. I used it in other videos. Uh, I used it in uh, the Hell Knight video. So uh, things will be slightly changed uh, for... Um, some of the soul pearls so for example going to my armamentalist i actually had an s grade soul here before that was actually for going against the um great bear but this time i actually have a regular a grade soul that gives me plus seven percent to jibaria damage and plus three percent to damage to dragons since Hida is a dragon and this one's going to give me plus seven percent to jibaria damage plus two percent to spell crit damage then of course i'm going to have the new uh soul pearl here so um the uh kagura bell so that gives me plus 12 percent to hp skill recovery effectiveness and i gain seven mp uh at the start of the turn then here on my Battle Master, I believe I added this particular Soul Pearl. So plus again, so plus seven percent to Jibari damage, plus three percent to Dragon uh, damage, and then for my Ranger, I don't think anything has actually changed, so I don't really need to go over him. But yes, so using my Jibari team again. So uh, for this particular battle right here, so King Hidra, like I said. He is going to be weak to uh, Jibaria, Dorma, Bagi, and Mera. He's going to have 1 to 2 actions per turn. Uh, he's going to have close to 200,000 uh, HP. So, um, But if you solo this, uh, you only need to get around 95,000 HP in order to defeat him. Then uh, his greatest ability is going to be Shonetsu uh, Bakuha, which is going to be Fiery Explosion. So that does around 600 EO Breath damage to all characters and a chance to inflict Curse. Then you're going to have Kyofu no Sume, which is Terrifying Claws. That does around 370 physical damage to one character two times. Then you're going to have Urami no Toiki, which is Breath of Resentment. So that does 320 Dorma Breath damage to all characters with a chance to inflict Curse. Then you're going to have Hageshi Otogebi, which is again Fierce Roar. That's going to do 150 physical damage to all characters and has a chance to cause fear. Then you're going to have Hageshi Hono, which is going to be Intense Flame. So that does 300 Mera Breath damage to all characters. You're going to have Renzoku Kamitsuki, which is a Double Bite. So that does two physical attacks for around 300 damage each to random characters. Then finally, you're going to have a, a Boon Mawashi, which is a spin attack. That does around 200 physical damage to all characters. So that's going to be uh, the attacks that King Hidora does. So I want to actually go into this battle. So I'm going to be using the same strategy that I've always been using. So I'll use Protective Shield. Since he uses Breath Attacks, I'm going to be using Fubaha. So I haven't used that in quite some time now, but I will be using that. But besides that, I will be using uh, my standard strategy, Force Burst, uh, Protective Shield, uh, Stimmy, and uh, Battle Demon Release Combo. And then, of course, um, I will be using Rukani since uh, Hida can actually have his defense lowered. But with that said, I'm going to go in. Okay, so here you go with this battle. One thing I did forget to mention is that I will be joined by Tendo Shishi. He probably won't last the entire battle. Depends on how fast I actually get this done. So here with my Ranger, what I'm going to do first is going to be using Fubaha. So that's actually quite important since one of the first attacks that uh, King Hirara will do is going to be a breath attack. I'm going to go with Protective Shield with my Battle Master. And here with my Armamentalist, going to use Protective Shield. Then here with my Sage, what I'll do is I'll actually use Dukani. 
And there, lowered its defenses. Here goes Tendo Shishi. And, ooh, nice Jibari attack there. Okay, there goes uh, Intense Flame. And then there goes the Double Bite. So here with my Armamentalist, gonna use Force Burst. Increase the rate of my Force Breaks and also increase my Spell Power. Then here again with my Ranger, going to use Tsubaha. Then here I'm going to be using Stemmy. And here going to heal up. Hopefully I can get an Echo. Nothing there. But let's see what happens with this next turn. Probably another Breath Attack. Yes, okay, so that was um, Breath of Resentment, and that was the Spin Attack. So here what I'll try to do is I'm actually going to attack. Hopefully I can get a Shadow Bound. Ooh, yes, did. All right, great. So things are going actually quite well so far. So here I'm going to use Battle Demon Release, and I'll have two turns to heal up with my Sage. Okay, good. So that did some pretty good damage there. So 5,000 damage there, and a Force Break. Nintendo Shishi doing a slightly better damage. King Hydra is at 50% uh, health right now. Actually, for there, I should have had my Ranger use uh, Protective Shield, but that's okay. And then there goes, ooh, wow. So right there, my Battle Master did about 16,000 damage. So let's see what happens here. Okay, there goes Shining Breath, or um, that was uh, no Fiery uh, Explosion. Okay, so there, um, with that, uh, my uh, King Hydra is actually under 25% um, health, and now my Battle Master, not my Battle Master, but my Sage is actually out. Um, most likely, I could possibly win it here, um, but I don't really want to risk it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Fubaha. And here, my uh, Battle Master is going to go and attack. Let's see what happens there. Okay. So here with my... Armamentalist going to resurrect my Sage and have my Sage heal up. But most likely next turn, uh, King Hidera will go down. Intense Flame, and let's see what's next. Ooh, okay. So now my Battlemaster is down. But uh, let's see what happens here. Yes. So with that, King Hidera is down. And King Hidora is a red soul, and I got a D. Okay, so now that we're back and finished with that battle, um, yeah, uh, King Hidora is actually not that bad of a battle, especially if you want to compare it to uh, Grizzard. So uh, pretty much uh, my strategy did work out. Um, I actually did get, um, had two of my characters die um, in the battle, so my Sage died once, and then my Battle Master died at the very end. Um, that can't be helped considering uh, some of the attacks that um, it does, um, since uh, especially with the Double Bite, since it's random, it could hit the same character twice, so that would actually kill the character most likely. And then also the Terrifying Claws, which um, did not he did not do in this particular battle, but um, if he actually did that on pretty much on any of my characters, that would have been almost like an instant kill. But um, this team worked out quite well, so um, definitely use a Jabaria team for uh, this battle. So uh, there will be more battles to come with... Um, uh, other attributes 
So probably next I will do a Dorma based team. So uh, please stay tuned for that. But with that said, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.